hello everyone you're welcome back to my channel my name is Joy white thank you so much for stopping by so guys in today's video i am going to show you how i made this organza ruffles you are seeing on your screen so i'm actually working with a gown so the upper part i'm going to be having an organza ruffles on it so these are the fabrics i'm going to be working with my doll face fabric so this is the doll face i'm working with i've actually cut it out what i'll be needing that will go around the neckline so what i cut out was seven inches the width is seven inches and on fold is 3.5 so this is the organza i'm going to be using so i have like two yards of the organza fabric here that i'll be needing for the ruffles so the first thing i will do is to go ahead and i'm going to be sewing down this doll face fabric using half an inch yes i'm going to use half an inch and sew it down after sewing sewing it i am going to turn it out so here it is i've sewn it down and i've turned it out so what i did is that i went ahead to also sew the edges of this doll face fabric so i've ironed it as well you have to iron it to have a smooth wash fabric so the length of what i'm working with i measured around the neckline so you're going to measure around the neckline of the fabric you are working with so i measured around and i had 31 inches so the length of the door face is 31 inches so guys here is the organza fabric i'm going to be using so the first thing i will do is to go ahead and cut out what i'll be needing for the ruffles i'm going to be exhausting the whole of this organza fabric so i'm going to go ahead and fold it so it depends on how wide you want it to be the width of what you are working with so but for me i'm going to be measuring 10 inches so i want it to be as wide as 10 inches it can be 12 13 14 it all depends on your choice so i'm just going to go ahead and cut out what i'll be needing in this what's organza fabric so i'm going to cut it out and what i will do is that i'm also going to join it you know it's going to be very long yes so i've cut it out and i've joined i've joined the organza together what i've cut out so now i am going to sew down using half an inch so what i have here now it's actually very long so i'm just going to go ahead and sew it sew it down from the top to the bottom so after sewing it down i have turned it out can you see it i've turned it out and i also what sew down the edges of the organza fabric so that i have it what neat and smooth so now the next thing i'm going to do is to mark out on the door face fabric the spacing i'll be needing so i'm marking out a spacing of 1.5 inches so you can go ahead and mark two inches um one inch two inches 1.5 it depends on how much spacing you want in the world organza fabric and also it all depends on the the yardage of organza you are working with to determine what the full length so after marking it out i'm going to go ahead and can't i just want to be sure of what i have so that i know what i am dividing the lines i have here so after counting out the lines the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to measure this organza fabric from the beginning to the end so i'm going to measure it so i think I, ha I had 60 inches twice so which is 120 and the other measurement here is about 20 something so i have about 140 something inches here yes yeah, so this is the reason why i measured out what i marked out on the um, door face fabric so now we're going to be doing our math i'm going to divide it so after dividing it what i got was 8.5 inch cheese so 8.5 inches is what i got i think 8 point something inches so just work with whatever you have so you divide whatever figure you get with the number of lines you have on your door face fabric i hope you are following what i'm doing so the next thing i'm going to do i am going to measure out what the 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 width of what i'll be needing on the organza fabric so i'm going to measure out 8.5 inches i'll just go ahead and mark it out on the organza fabric so this is how it's going to be 8.5 inches on one side 8.5 inches i'll just go ahead from the beginning to the end so this is the spacing of what i'll be using words on the organza fabric so i'm going to go ahead and mark it after marking it i am going to rule it use my chalk to just create a line there because we are going to be stitching on it 
So I've stitched on it a loose stitch on it. Can you see it? After stitching, I just gathered it a bit. So this is how you're going to gather it. After stitching on it, you are not going to tack it. So I just drag it this way as if you are doing what it gathers. So this is how it's going to be. So another thing I want to mention is that you can also double your organza to have it very full. You can double your organza fabric. What I mean by doubling, you make it what two inside and so so it becomes what you are working with a doubled organza fabric. So here is what I am going to do. I'm going to go ahead and on that first line there, that first part there, I'm going to go ahead and sew it in. I'll be working with my pins for now before stitching it. So I'm going to go ahead and pin it down because I'm still going to go ahead and sew it on my machine. So I'll just pin it down so that you understand what I'm talking about. So after pinning it down, the next thing I'm, I'm going to do is that the first line the second line so we have, we have pinned down the first so the second one that we have gathered i am going to go ahead and attach it to the lines that we marked out there so remember i marked out all the lines where i'll be placing placing my organza fabric so i'm going to go ahead and drag the organza as if you are doing the gathers then i'm pinning it on the line so that is how i am going to pin each lines each organza on the lines each organza on the lines this is what i'm going to to do so this is how it's going to look like i think our ruffles is already taking taking shape so you just go ahead and attach it carefully each line so if you want it to be very close that's why i said you can work with one inch one inch and it also depends on the organza fabric you have available with you so you can work with one inch you can work with 1.5 two inch it depends on the spacing you want and the organza fabric you have so this is what it's going to look like so i'm just going to go ahead and do the same thing on the other other lines and when i'm getting to the end i'll show you what our ruffles is already looking like so i've gotten to the end part of it i think this is the second to the last line yes so i'm going to pin down the organza fabric to the door face just as you see me doing so this is the last line i'm going to pin it in it's not going to come out so i want the edges to go in in on the organza on the door face fabric so it's going to go in so this is how i am just going to go ahead and fold it and pin it down to the beginning of what the door face fabric that we have there so i'm just going to go ahead and pin it down so after pinning it down you are going to see what our organza ruffles is looking like so this is what it's already looking like even without stitching it it's already taking shape so i'm trying to just use my hands to bring it out so the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to take this over to my machine iron and i'm going to be stitching on those lines i have made there those pins i'm going to stitch on it each of them i am going to go over to my machine and stitch on it and stitch on each of them and stitch on each of them so you see what it's looking like after stitching on them so this is what it's looking like at the back can you see it so this is what i'm going to do and you can actually style this depends on it must not be on the neckline you can actually style it the way you want so this is the fabric i'm working with after stitching on it so this is what it's looking like on my client can you see it guys so we're done stitching on it and i've attached it to the dress i'm working with guys so this is it so if you find this tutorial helpful don't forget to hit on that subscribe button and turn on the shown bell get notified whenever i post a new video like and share my video make your comments till the next tutorial again thank you so much for watching bye